So, um, lose three, four, two, uh, three, four, two, please. Three, four, one at full. Three, three, one at full, sorry. Back lights up at full. Four, two, sorry, the square, the square one. Get this one back down to 30. There we go. So, tell you what, take this one and that one and park them, so no matter what we do, they're not gonna change. Everyone ready? I'm really feeling the pressure now. <laughs> cool. Are we rolling? We're rolling again for it. Good stuff. So we're at the uh, Ballets Theatre, which is the main house uh, at the Ivy Art Centre at GSA. And uh, we've been very lucky that we've had the opportunity to uh, have a look at the new Martin Mac Encores, both the uh, warm and the cool encores. They're the LED engines and um, they are the performance units, so they're the units that have got the framing shutters in. Uh, and that was our primary reason for wanting to use these fixtures uh, in lighting the musical. Um, we knew we were going to need a lot of precision focusing and we need to be able to recall those looks uh, as quickly and as easily as possible and make sure they were reliable. One of the other reasons that we chose these fixtures is because of their excellent color mixing system and both units have variable color temperature control. So the cool white unit, uh, you can ramp up from cool white right down to warm white and likewise on the warm unit, you can change the color temperature from the warm white up to a cool white lamp. Uh, so what we're going to have a look at now is we're having a look at the uh, cold unit. So that's the Martin Mac Encore Cold Performance and you can see we've got it framed down uh, into a square on stage. Uh, so one of the things that impressed us was its zoom range. So I'm going to take it down to its narrowest zoom. So if you'll pop it down to its narrowest zoom please. So that's it right down at its narrowest zoom um, and if you then go up to its full zoom and pop into sharp focus, lovely. So that's a really, really good zoom range on that fixture and that's been hugely helpful for us. Uh, we've had a couple of the units on stage uh, rigged as our backlights and they're doing a lot of the key work for us. So they're framing our scenes, uh, they, they also do a lot of gobo work in the show. Uh, and they're really great, they're really nice and bright, they're punchy and the colour temperature lets us cut through whatever we've got happening on stage uh, to really get the performers to pop and it gives them a really nice framed uh, backlight effect. Uh, if I just want to have a look at the variable colour temperature in this fixture at the moment, um, so if you'll just dial in the variable CTO, there you can see it's coming in, we're lowering the colour temperature uh, right down, keep going all the way till it's at full. Uh, and there you end up with really quite a nice, pleasant, warm white light. Uh, and that gives you a pretty good match to the warm version of the Encore fixture. So it's absolutely possible to get the two fixtures to match when they're on the rig together, which is also a really helpful feature. Uh, if you pop that colour temperature back out of that fixture, please. Thank you. Um, and the other thing I want to have a look at, if you want to take that one out and add in the warm fixture for us, please. Which is channel... Uh, 342 and lose 331. Great stuff. Uh, so that's the Mac Encore Warm and we've decided to put those units in the front of house position uh, for two reasons. One, uh, because of the warm white LED it's a much more flattering light on skin tone um, and secondly we needed the framing units out front because uh, that gave us the opportunity to be able to focus into our set and tighten down on our performers when we need to. Uh, exactly the same zoom range that exists on the cold unit, the same framing uh, shutters exist. Um, and I'll just show you the variable colour temperature on this unit. So if you take, they've got a CTB filter, so colour temperature blue, uh, which will raise the colour temperature up. So if you want to dial that in for us. There we go, and you can see you're raising that colour temperature up. Uh, up back up into the daylight portion of the spectrum. Obviously you do sacrifice a little bit of intensity in doing that, but uh, if you're maintaining looks, uh, it is a really good way to get a nice uh, 201, uh, 202, 203 Lee equivalent filter uh, into the stage coming from your LED fixtures. Uh, one of the other things that's really great about these units is their color mixing ability. If you'll just knock out that color temperature for me, please. The one thing that really surprised me on these fixtures is how well they actually mix colour. Uh, on a lot of the other framing units out there you tend to get some colour halation around the beam uh, and that's not the case on these fixtures so the colour is positioned really well in the optical chain. Uh, so if you pop into one of our paler colours, if you try a Lee uh, 169 please. I think it's frame 14, frame 15, somewhere around there. 
There we go. So that's a really, really subtle color that's just popped in. It's just added a little bit of magenta into the fixture. Uh, if you try a Lee 201 for us, please. There you can see we've adjusted the color temperature, gone into a 201. And if we now go to slightly more, the more extreme end of the spectrum, if you try um, 19, please, Roscoe 19. So there we go, it's dealing really well with the saturated colors as well. Um, pull that back out, let's try one of our dark blues. Let's go for a 79. There we go, and you can see it's dealing with the dark blues really well as well. Uh, do you want to get rid of that fixture for us, please? And let's have a look at uh, the cool white fixture again, please. So 331. Same thing here on the colors. Uh, if you pop in one of our pails, let's start with our Lee 169. Again, you can see it's dealing really, really well with the tints. Uh, and if you go into the more saturated colors, try a 777. There we go, into your 777. Obviously, with any cool white discharge lamp, when you go into your ambers, you tend to sacrifice a bit of intensities. But when we pop back into the blue end of the spectrum, if you go into 79 for us, please. There we go, you'll see you get some real punch coming back through that uh, color fixture again, which is uh, really lovely. Um, so yeah, it's been a real pleasure using the fixtures on the show and we're grateful to Martin um, for lending them to us so we can put them through their paces. And um, yeah, we'll show you a few clips from the show and some photographs and how we've been using them. Thank you very much. And high class, I don't have to care.